What's going on guys? John here from The Real Talk with Rama from Rama Screen. What's up Rama? How are you? Good my friend. Thank you for having me. And today, like the title of the video suggests, we're going to be talking all things spoilers of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, Rama was gracious enough to invite me to the press screening for it. So we got to see it. We had a pretty good time before the movie. So, um, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp, again, spoiler review. Uh, <laughs> the sequel right after Avengers, kind of a cool palate cleanser to you know all the devastation we saw That's in right. Avengers Infinity War. So... Uh, this was again. We also have a uh, non-spoiler review. If you guys want to check that out mm -hmm. on both our channels, and this is going to be on both our channels as well. So with all that out of the way, um, yeah, this was a perfect <laughs> movie right after Avengers. It was a great sequel, like you know we both discussed. Um, so spoilers. What are we gonna? Well, yeah. If you don't, if you don't mind, let me just yeah. let me just ask you this. Uh, I think it's so cool yeah. that they're so oblivious. To the events in Avengers: Infinity War, like oh, yeah. it's happening over there, yeah, and they're just doing their own thing here. They're doing their own thing, like hey, mm, you know what? Maybe I should go help Cap and you know over there Wakanda, like you know, like, like uh, they know nothing about what's going yeah. on. <laughs> like you know that thing in New York, what happened? You know, maybe I should try to protect my family or something, you know. But maybe like they, they were so busy with what they what the events going on. Maybe, yeah. Like, you know, so that was funny, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, he was on house arrest too, so maybe uh, he couldn't, you know. And then up until Hope and, and Hank came, you know, they kind of fixed that, you know. That's right. That's right. So, um, yeah, um, there's going to be no Wasp in uh, Avengers 4. She, she vanished along with <laughs> Hank Pym. And, that's the post credit uh, scene. Yeah, that's the yeah. post credit scene. And along with also Janet, the original Wasp. Oh. Um, I, I, I really like that scene because like I feel like we knew it was coming. We also mm. said, you know, before the film, I did a little Instagram live thing. Yes. Um, we kind of predicted the the wasp was gonna get evaporated. We we've seen Ant Man in some of the pictures. Uh, but yeah, Hank Pym too and, and also uh, the Wasp's mom. And did you think that if they would like do something different, like maybe kind of mislead us? Oh, Ant like even Ant Man got evaporated too or something. Oh uh, well, I didn't. I didn't expect it to be three. Yeah. You know, I thought it would be like either one or two people. Yeah. You know, one person or two people, but three. That no, we just we just got uh, uh, Janet back. <laughs> yeah. And we now just got her like, back. back and Michelle Pfeiffer <laughs> just oh man, which was um. I think we can talk about a little bit more later mm. that Michelle Pfeiffer she was she was pretty great. Oh in the movie. yes. But um, I love the way they did it. How you know they're going to the quantum realm for something. And he's all right, guys. I'm ready to go back. And you know, just guys, you know, and then just you know, pans back to where they were. They're all evaporated, and everybody in the theater was like, "Oh, you know, everybody's like, no, you know." It, it was a fun movie, but then right after it, we're back to you know, feeling, man, everybody's gone. Thanos did his snap, and you know, it's felt in this movie as well. And um, even at the end, it says, "Ant-Man and the Wasp will return." Question mark? Yes. Like, really? Did you guys really have to add that question mark? God damn it, Marvel. But um, what do you think about all that stuff, man? Yeah, I think it's a nice play with the question mark because now yeah. we don't know, you know, because that would, like, play with our emotions as yeah. fans. It's like, oh, is she going to return or not? You know, yeah. it's like, uh, uh, we know that he's still around. So, uh, oh, well, yeah. And even how is he going to get back to, from the yeah. quantum realm to the real life? He's stuck there. <laughs> so that, that's another mystery that's going to be solved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I want I want to say before we because we're gonna talk a bit about you know uh, the, the what's what, we're gonna theorize what, yeah. what may happen next. But as far as the movie itself, I gotta say, dude, uh, you know, chime in if you like. But the, the imaginations of the movie with regards to what uh, the subatomic and the quantum realm has or features, you yeah. know, with the creatures in it. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, as it goes smaller, smaller, awesome. like like you know. Like, we don't know for real what it looks yeah, like, you know? Only, yeah, like he said, theorize <laughs> about that. But it was awesome. Visually, it was stunning. Oh, and we also didn't mention that we so saw this good. in 3D. Which yeah. at first, I was like, well, okay, you know, I'm not a really big fan. But it, it turned out to look really good. It helps. You know, in 3D. Really yeah, helps, especially yeah. in those type of scenes. That's how I remembered. Uh, but it looked really beautiful, really creative. Like, those little animals. Uh, Scott Swan saw one of them, and then one of them saw him and kind of tried to eat them. They were kind of, you know, like, so it's really cool to see how, you know, once you dive deeper and deeper and deeper, I think I would, it looks and stuff. I think I would recommend you guys watch it in 3D, too. I yeah, would, yeah, actually, you say, know what? Yeah. I'm not really a big advocate for 3D. I, I like, yeah. you know, um, but actually this one, you know what? Even Mar I think Marvel movies are going to be cool to experience because I saw Avengers Infinity War and even Guardians of the Galaxy in 3D, and I didn't mind it. Yeah. It kind of enhanced the, the experience, so I would recommend it, too. Um, another spoiler I want to talk about. Let's let, uh, the villain. Uh, oh yeah, as I said. Ghost. Uh, yeah, as I said uh, in the non-spoiler, um, she's redeemable. Let me elaborate on yeah. that. 
meaning that there's good in her. Yeah. And I, and then I love the fact that at the end, you know, they actually be, uh, become friends with her or they yeah, help her exactly. out. Exactly. Like she. So that's cool. Like she didn't kind of like, oh, you know, I'm trying to do this for good, but at the end, no, I'm really evil, and then she gets killed off. Yeah. Nothing so like that. I really liked her character. The actress, what's her name? Hannah. You said? Hannah John Cramon. Yeah, she did she's really beautiful. good. She's she's beautiful and. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely really liked that. I, again, like I said in the non-spoiler review that I thought she was going to be like another MCU villain like a, a Dark Elf or Ronin where it's just one dimensional. There's mm -hmm. not really that much depth. But in this film, you do see her, you know, first we're like, okay, who's this character? Like, what does she want? Then we uh, figure out what she wants and why because she's all messed up. You know, she had that accident when she yeah. was little and she kind of saw her both parents die right in yeah. front of her and that's kind of messes you up but still she was just kind of trying to be normal at the end of the day yeah. and then obviously it's revealed that bill foster is working with her and then i kind of was like oh man they're gonna do this but that just the fact that they, again at the end they were they're let go and they say okay you guys you did what you uh, wanted to do so you know that's yeah. it you know you guys are done like yeah. and she didn't turn out to be bad or even bill foster wasn't even that bad not only know, but, yeah not only that um you know if she doesn't get that essence from the quantum realm she'll disappear yeah. Yeah, she you know, not not evaporate in the way you know Thanos does, <laughs> but she'll just disappear. It's like like she she's she can't touch anything material. Yeah, that would um, be messed up too if she if she suddenly fixed and she got evaporated. By Thanos. Like, God damn it, Thanos! See, you're not doing all good, man. <laughs> Even then. <laughs> Even then. <laughs> but also, um, uh, I want to bring this up now because yeah. it it is a spoiler. Uh, because we talked about the father daughter uh heart of drama. That's yeah. also Bill Foster and Ghost. Yeah, that that aspect, the father daughter. You know, he's a father figure to her, and so that's an, a third. You know, with the Michael Douglas and Evangeline and the Paul Rudd and her his kid. Yeah, so there's third father daughter thing, and that was pretty cool to me. That approach. Yeah, you could you can see that you know along the way like he he's he knew what happened to her, so he wanted yeah. to help her, and then obviously I don't know if she, he has kids, but mm. also her too. You kind of see her kind of maybe listen to him because he kind of controls her. Like, okay, you know what? This is not what we do. She wanted yeah. to kidnap the daughter. But he's like, you know what? We can't do this. Yeah. You know, this is not what we do. So if you do that, I'm not going to be able to help he, you. So yeah. He wants to retain her humanity. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, yeah, so that's know, a really cool dynamic. Yeah. You know, I don't think we've ever seen that in a Marvel, like a no. villain, you know? So I think that was really cool. I really liked Ghost now thinking about it. Even Bill, their uh, Goliath, you yeah. know, from the comics. comics. Um, Bill Foster was her voice of reason, was her yeah. conscience. And we never seen that before. Yeah, we never really seen yeah. that. So that was really so, cool. It's like like a Geppetto, you know? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah from Pinocchio. <laughs> it's like don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> don't lie. Yeah. So uh, that's that's my villain spoiler. Uh, uh, yeah. What else can we bring up? Uh, yeah. Also, we didn't really talk about you know uh, Janet Van Dyne, yes. the mother of, of Hope, and and you know um, they kind of at the beginning also the beginning great effects on Michael Douglas yes. and Michelle Pfeiffer. They look. Uh, new they look you know 20 <laughs> years younger 25 years younger and that was incredible the same you know, effect like, they did for robert downey jr right yeah and, and even in the first ant man yeah. too with michael douglas again um that's right so it was really cool to, to see that and uh michelle pfeiffer did really good in, the, in this movie you know she wasn't like a weak link or anything um but yeah it was cool to see you know the whole movie okay man are they gonna be able to get her back and they obviously they did and they have an emotional uh, moment with hope and stuff so that was really cool and um my only, have anything my only thing is that she, she's barely in there. Yeah, she's kind of just... <laughs> we barely see Michelle Pfeiffer there. She's yeah. Only there for like the last few minutes. The last few minutes, in the, in the a little bit in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning, yeah, that's right. So I was like, oh, for those of Michelle Pfeiffer fans out there, just don't don't keep your hope. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm going to see her. No, no. Just like, we're only going to see her for... Just, just, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> But that's about it. I don't have any other objection. But she's fantastic. You know, she's a great actress. I, I love. I think she's perfect for the part. Yeah. And uh, she has that motherly role too, not just to and uh, to hope, but also to ghost. There's that moment, you know. Oh where, yeah, where she, where she kind of like fixes her and stuff. So. Exactly. Well, that was very touching as well. That's gonna be interesting if that comes into play in the future, because looks like like she was telling Hank like oh this place like evolved to me because she yeah. can still do that outside the quantum realm so she has powers now she has power yeah. you know? so that's where gonna be pretty cool and also obviously before um she kind of got back to everybody we have that kind of great moment with um Scott Lang where she kind of took over yeah and this is that she Paul Rudd is kind of you know playing with uh, <laughs> Hank and stuff like that was just so hilarious just the way he Paul Rudd did an amazing job of pulling that off, you know, and I thought they were going to kiss. Michael Douglas and we're going to kiss. Like, oh, I miss you so much. And, you know, but it was it was just a funny, hilarious scene, uh, but also kind of emotional, too, because you can see, you can feel like, oh, man, like 
this is the first time that the, she's talking to any of them, you know? So yeah. it was really well done. Just overall a pretty hilarious scene. I, I think Paul Rudd channeling Michelle Pfeiffer, <laughs> yeah. it, just, it just goes to show the the <laughs> the skills of Paul Rudd yeah. as a comedic actor. Paul Rudd is a gem. I have been fantastic. on his boat for a while long. Even from Romeo and Juliet, where, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and you even know, friends, but... And on all his run with uh, with Will Ferrell and the guys at Steve Carell with Anchorman oh, yeah. movies. <laughs> You know, so he's just he's he's got it. Yeah. And uh, and to ta uh to to combine with that or to add with that is also the skills of Michael Pena. In oh this yeah. Movie. Oh, they yeah. really. I'm glad that the, this movie gave him more screen time. Yeah, they gave him a little bit more bigger role um, yeah. in what to do, and and even uh the, the other two friends too. Like in the last part, they kind of you know have yeah. something to play, but Michael Pena a little bit oh. more. And they played on that same scene that they had in the first one where he kind of, you know, he does the storytelling, the truth serum. That was hilarious. He's oh, I guess it is a truth serum at the end. That was that was so hilarious. But uh, it was cool that they brought that back and they kind of amplified, like, okay, yeah, you guys like Mike Pena, then you're going to get more of him. You know? So yeah. I really like that. He was he was great in this role. He, he's like Vince Vaughn. He talks really fast, but you can understand every word he says. <laughs> yeah, I love Vince Michael Vaughn, too. Michael <laughs> Pena just gets, like, the pitches, man, the voice. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's there, he's a show stealer in this movie. I want to yeah, I'm definitely. To Whenever that. he's on screen, like okay, That's cool. It. Like, what is he gonna say this time? You know. <laughs> I hope. I hope. But you know, just saying it out there to the universe. Yeah. If if Marvel made. A, a, a Lewis, right? That's his name, right? Yeah, Lewis, Lewis merchandise, a Lewis action figure. I would totally buy that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Funko. Yeah, Lewis, little, little Lewis Funko. So, yeah, the comedy is amazing in this movie. Yeah, uh, really... everything from start to finish. The ant again. Yes. The the drums. <laughs> <laughs> and the, really the, cool. the way the movie um, plays on San Francisco streets, man. Because I've, oh, yeah. I've, I've gone to San Francisco many times. It's like, oh my God, it's, 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 it's the Lombard, Lombard Street. You know? Yeah. Like, oh. That was really cool. Yeah. And they had that whole chase scene where she's like, oh, I'm going to take this guy for a spin. And again, yes. man, like that was the action was just everything they did when the car is getting small and big and even the wasp getting small and big and the ant, it just, and it was really oh, good. and Ant Man uh, using the truck like a scooter. Oh yeah, <laughs> he said, "All right, guys, like don't worry, I'll be there." there. He's kind of like skating there because his little reactor was broken, and I thought it was genius. So even the, uh, I think it was broken um, early on too, and he was in the school. Yeah, <laughs> he was a little kid. Like, hey, you stop there, and he just runs. And that, that was awesome. And that's smart on the rider's part to have yeah. the the broken thing because yeah. it adds to the like uh, uh, the the difficulties for Ant Man. Yeah, exactly. You know, so so he's not invincible. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, my suit keeps messing up on me. You yeah, know, so that's like, awesome. oh, so that's and it also it. adds to that, and also the action and the comedy. Yeah, so it, it's just like comedy, a, a yeah. great, a great little device like that. He goes like this. He goes like this. He goes yeah. like this. He goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how, you know. And then he got really big at the end, which was really cool. Yes, like really, really big. <laughs> was let's uh, I want, briefly before before we theorize on the, uh, what what what's gonna happen next. I yeah. want to say, you know, because uh, a lot of you know, ever since Wonder Woman, you know, and this Me Too movement. You know, we want more and more women. Now Captain Marvel's coming up. More oh, woman, yeah. woman empowerment. Woman. And I think Evangeline Lilly does a good job yeah. of carrying that torch. Yeah, um, definitely. Of women empowerment in this movie. She was so badass. Oh. I, I loved every minute she was on screen. The action with her. Yes. She, you can feel that she loves being the wasp yes. in this role. When she goes big in that car, she's all, oh, hey guys. And she just starts kicking ass. Like, it was just awesome. It was amazing. Give me a standalone Wasp movie. Like, you know, like, I don't, I don't and, care. And she's not a sidekick, you know. It's not yeah, Ant -Man exactly. And the Wasp, yeah, like, you know? it's not, oh, I need you to. There is a little thing of their, their partners, yeah. but it's not like a Batman and Robin. It's like, it's no. sometimes even you can say, hey, it's more like the Wasp and Ant Man, you know? Yeah, yeah, you can <laughs> so, even that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So they're equal, and, and there, there'll be times when she needs him, there'll be times when he needs her. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's just like, and, and it's not always smooth sailing. You yeah. know, gonna look stumbles along the way, but they get it right as a team. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, exactly. That's what's awesome about it. Great uh, team. Oh, team. I can't wait to watch this again, man. No, I yeah, I'm gonna go again. opening night again Thursday. Thank you again for inviting me. <laughs> no that, worries, was, bro. I had a great time, and I can't wait to see it again. Marvel, another one, man. They yes. just keep knocking. DC, you guys gotta take notes, please. <laughs> take you guys have wonderful characters. I want to see you guys do good, so please just take notes, please. <laughs> now, uh, so the theories, uh, yeah. real quick. Uh, we know that Captain Marvel and so Ant-Man and Ronan, which is Hawkeye's other uh, version, they're going to be kind of leading the charge. Yeah. Because they're, they're still around. They're going to be a little bit yeah. more prominent. They're still, they're, they, they haven't evaporated. Yeah. I know that some people out there, the rumors is that Captain Marvel will be the new Captain America because Chris Evans' contract ended yeah. and he's not renewing it. He wants to move on. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah. Um, so, and I think the same thing with Robert Downey Jr. So, 
you know, Captain Marvel will be more prominent in the in the Phase Four. Uh, Trying to take that work. leadership role. Exactly, as opposed to, uh, in repl- in place of R D J and Chris Evans. Yeah. Um. So we'll see how it's gonna play out. And like you said, Ant Man is stuck down there in subatomic. Yeah. Bottom we're, round. We'll see how he gets out of it, and yeah. like obviously he's gonna be like, "What the heck just happened?" So yeah. he's gonna try to find the answers, and Finally there's a lot of theories too that. It takes place five years after the events of, of Infinity War. So, oh. where has everybody been? Like, what the heck's been going on? Uh, is Iron Man still with Nebula over there on Titan? You know, okay. how the heroes going to get back together? And even when they come back together, Cap and Iron Man still have not been, you know, yeah. confronted. We still haven't seen them since together since Civil War. So, um, how That's Ant-Man cool. plays into this, we've seen what the Quantum Realm can do. But there's a lot of theories like somehow his tech will be able to send them back to the past. Yeah. Know? So maybe that's how Ant-Man is, you know, maybe uh, Hank Pym was working on something else to maybe. try to get um, Janet back, you know, maybe going back to the past, you know? So we'll see how Ant-Man plays in, into the now, into Infinity War. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Infinity Gauntlet, the glove itself, is yeah. destroyed, right? It's broken. It's it's I, kind the of... They, of the end, I, right? I've, I've seen an interview with the directors. They said it, it is, but it's still functional. Like, oh, he can still use it. It's just kind snap. of like a price to... Cause he kind of did a big, you know, thing. So it kind of, you know, kind of a price to pay for what he did. Yeah. But it's still, you know, he it can, can still, still do use work. it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, so that's something to be, you know, paid attention to by, by our heroes, Captain yeah. Marvel and Ant-Man. So, but you know, we'll see, we'll see how they, the three people meet. Yeah. And we'll see who else might be joining in. You know, maybe, yeah. maybe surprises. Yeah. Or, you know. Maybe Avengers 4 will be an excuse for Marvel to bring in new characters. Yeah, that we haven't, that we seen, haven't seen before, yeah. or maybe even some of the TV characters, yeah, or Agents be. of Shield, or Inhumans. crossover, crossover, ah. or something. So <laughs> we'll see. I mean, obviously, we still have Captain Marvel before our, you know, the final installment of this Phase Four of this first, you know, couple years of MCU, uh, which is going to be great. And um, let us know in yes. the comment section down below what you guys liked, loved about Ammon the Wasp. You guys agree with us, disagree with us? What are you guys looking forward to? How do you think it's going to connect to Captain Marvel or even um, Avengers 4? Um, and yeah, sub- and subscribe to our channel. Yes, yeah, subscribe to us for more content like this. I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the last collab between us. Yes. Uh, I love collabing with you, Rama. No uh, problem. So, Thank you. Yeah, if you guys like this, subscribe to see more. All right, let's wrap this. Yeah, see you at the movies.